All right, I'm going to do my best to explain on how to program this Emacs ESC with uh, flight test cells, and they're available on eBay and Amazon and probably other places, but I got mine from flight test. And originally, I basically just wanted to calibrate it like most ESCs where you, you know, put your throttle to max, turn your transmitter on, plug in the battery, and then you drop your throttle down to the lowest position and it's supposed to calibrate. Well, I guess these are a little different and it goes into, if you wait so long, it goes into a uh, program to program the ESC and you can set different parameters, which I don't know if this is viewable. But you can set the brake type, timing mode, start force, curve mode, control frequency, low voltage protection, cutoff mode, motor and motor rotation. And for each, each of these parameters, there's a series of beeps. For brake, it's one beep, then two. Timing mode is two beeps. Start force is three beeps. Curve mode, throttle curve mode is four beeps. And then when you get to five, it's a long beep. Then six is a long beep. And I believe a single fast beep. Then seven is a long beep, followed by two beeps. And then motor direction is a long beep, followed by three quick beeps. And then once you are in each parameter, there are so many options. Like brake type, there are two options, on and off. But I'm using, I found that different ESCs have multiple options. Some actually have five options. So for this ESC, I believe there might be three or five brake options, but I will, uh, I'll turn it on and I'll get into the, I guess you could say the menu for the choosing the parameters and go through the beeps so you can hear it. So we will do that now. So I'm going to put my throttle up, turn on the transmitter, plug in the battery. See there's parameter one, parameter two, three, four, and then uh, this will change. Long beep, that's five, six, seven, and then eight, and then it'll start over again. Okay, so See. Now to select it, you have three seconds to select it. Now we're in brake type. See, now it has a different beep. So there's two options. Okay, so brake type for this ESC has only two options. One is the off, two beeps is on. So we want off. So to select that, we will slide it up once it gets a one beep. And then you slide it back down and it saves it. And then it'll basically restart the ESC. You'll hear the startup tone. So now you can see my motor direction. Spinning clockwise. 
I will show you that you can actually change the motor direction using the transmitter by using that menu and going through the parameters. So we'll turn the transmitter off, unplug it, throttle all the way up, turn it on, plug it in, and then it'll go into the into the menu. Now it's in the menu. So we'll let it now we're at the timing mode, start force, curve mode, control frequency, low voltage protection, cutoff mode, motor direction. We'll select it. Now there will be three options. One, that's normal mode. Two is reverse. Three is bi-directional. So we want reverse, throttle up, and then throttle back down. And it'll reboot the ESC. <coughs> now we are spinning <coughs> counterclockwise. <coughs> so I think that's a pretty neat function. They do sell the programming card, which is like ten dollars on multiple websites but you could do all the programming through the transmitter and what I ended up I ended up running into a problem which whenever I tried to do the calibration which I had no clue that I was into this program and I ended up changing multiple functions which really messed it up I ended up turning braking on had the timing off had the frequency wrong, changed the motor direction, it was all screwed up. I pretty much thought that the ESC was garbage and a couple guys on RC groups pretty much gave me the directions to a couple websites about the pretty much to get to this and a uh, big big shout out to them and they pretty much saved me uh, 10 bucks and some time so I figured I'd throw this video together on once I understood what was going on I throw the video together to pretty much explain it because I've seen a couple YouTube videos once I when I ended up messing up DSC changing all the stuff I saw YouTube videos about other people having similar uh, situation with theirs so I thought you know what maybe I bet they did the same thing that I did they tried calibrating it they got into the menu ended up changing stuff and basically thought they burned up their ESC or junked it somehow. So you can save it. You just gotta... Basically what I ended up having to do is everything that's highlighted in bold is the factory settings. And I did find on one of the downloads on Emacs's website, which is emacsmodel.com you can go in and search for the downloads, the download sheets for, I guess, each individual ESC, which I could not find this one for the 20 amp. I found the 12 amp, and it's actually a little different. It actually has five braking options. So, I mean, each one is a little different, and a lot, and I believe on the 12 amp one you can't change motor direction using the transmitter or or the card I believe it only lifts seven parameters but I also found that you can change you can go to a factory reset by let me uh, look here real quick This will be visible, but factory reset, it's saying, to restore factory settings, pull the throttle stick to the bottom position, full off, within three seconds after ending program mode.
pull the throttle stick to the top position within two seconds you will hear a tune which means that the factory settings have been restored. Pull throttle stick to the bottom position within two seconds the ECS is ready with factory settings. I don't know if that works. <laughs> I didn't try it and I really don't want to try it because I basically just followed everything that's in bold and it works fine for me. But I will go into uh, what is it? Start force. Start force I messed up really bad. And I, I had it set somewhere else and basically if you see my previous video about when I discovered the problem I made the video for the problem is that the motor was starting the motor was starting very like glitchy you could have the, your throttle set like here and it was like just clicking it was very glitchy if you check on my uh, previous video it'll uh, it'll show that well I guess what I had wrong was the start force and I was going through the series of beeps and I really thought there was only like four options well there ended up being once I found this sheet uh, from a couple of members on RC groups, they showed the sheet showed that there's 13 options, and it's like a really weird series of beeps, and it, you got to really pay attention to it. But I will go into that. That way you can hear it. So we'll enter into the program menu, throttle up, transmitter on, plug in the battery. So we're in brake type. Now, once I get to start force, so that's three. Select it by throttle down. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and then it'll start over. Yeah, so I got I got to that. I didn't. I only listened to like six beeps, and I selected one of them, and. It really messed it up, and it says the default value is 0.75, which is number 10. So I'm just going to unplug this to get out of it because I don't want to select the wrong one. Hopefully, by doing that, <laughs> it don't. <laughs> I just got to change my motor rotation. So I'm going to do that now. Change it back to normal. But this is that definitely a pretty neat function. When it goes through the menu. Sorry, this is such a long video, but going through this whole menu takes a while, and there's definitely a lot to explain. So once I get to the motor rotation, I'm going to change it back to normal, which is clockwise. That's number seven, and that's eight. So it beeps once. And I'll save it, and it'll re reboot the ESC, restart it, and we're back to clockwise. So uh, yeah, if you ever have the issue with your motor starting funny after you try to calibrate the ESC, or you end up getting into that menu, um, I will post the link to the thread I made on RC groups and it'll actually have this 
paper about the factory setting. This is actually the directions to use the program card, but I pretty much just adapted it uh, by using the transmitter by listening to the beeps and the you know the sequences of the beeps once you get into those parameters. Uh, if you see the bold, that's the factory settings, and that's what I did. I set it back to factory settings, and it, it works fine. <laughs> so I'm happy with that. And definitely big thanks to those guys on RC Groups that pointed me to the right direction to get this fixed. So uh, thanks a lot.